for those persons hiding behind fake Facebook accounts, defaming and threatening other persons, Police Commissioner Chester Williams is coming for you. So I want to say to those persons who believe that they can hide behind a fake Facebook account and uh, create mischief that now we will have the capability to be able to unmask them and then we're going to deal with them. During a high-level security meeting held today in Belize City, the Belize Police Department was officially handed over the Digital Forensic Laboratory. What that entails is actually um, the receiving of devices and training from the UNODC, who are our partners in this uh, uh, cyber crime uh, initiative. Um, of course, a lot of the equipment that we're receiving uh, is the latest advanced technology that will help us to uh, open cell phones, open computers, uh, different types of uh, electronic devices, which could be a huge aid uh, in terms of detecting and preventing cyber crime. The instances and severity of cyber crime, such as cyber attacks, hacking, child pornography and fraud have increased in recent years. This is now uh, a pivot into the new era uh, and it is, in my opinion, a revolutionary step for us as a small country to take and to claim our stake in this, this new world um, of attacks and to ensure that we are adequately prepared to deal with it. The meeting organized by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, saw the participation of a wide range of professionals to strengthen the country's capacity to prevent cyber crimes and persecute cyber criminals like those behind fake Facebook accounts. The Digital Forensic Laboratory adds to the government's effort to address cyber crime. Since 2020, uh, I understand that Belize has launched the, the national strategy, the national cyber uh, security or cyber crime strategy and this is a very important a key element a political instrument that uh, opens up many doors in order to work on 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 the cyber on the cyber realm this is a a, 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 a very important milestone for for Belize then you have the the cyber crime act that was just recently passed and this uh, not only gives the tools for the police and the, and the prosecution and the judicial sector but also gives the means for the Belizean uh, citizens uh, to, to report and to the country as a whole to fight uh, cybercrime. The lab is located at the police headquarters in Bamopan and it's from there and elsewhere that tech devices will be examined to detect traces of cybercrimes. DFL will examine cell phones, SIM cards, tablets, computer, external storage devices, IoT devices, which is Internet of Things and other forms of digital media to detect any files and data of evidentiary value on cybercrime and a wide array of crimes inclusive on disciplinary, disciplinary matters investigated internally by the department. With this mobile device extraction equipment, the examiners will be able to extract digital evidence at crime scenes in the field also. So it's not just confined to the laboratory, but they will be able to go and do extraction on the field. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.